On day one, I spawned in a large fire temple. Standing before me was a large god. Who are you? I grant you the powers of the fire god. I was transformed into a fire god. Whoa. The world is in grave danger by powerful dragons. You have to help the people of Earth and stop them. Powerful dragons? There was a rumbling, and a massive black dragon landed on the structure. The reign of the fire gods is over. The dragon blasted the other god with his breath, causing him to fall to the ground. Rufuso, you are our only hope! The dragon turned its attention to me, and I was scared. I shot a fireball at it, but it only made him mad. Time to take out the last one. I started to run down the steps with the dragon chasing after me. As I was running, the dragon hit me with another attack, sending me flying off the temple. On day two, I crash landed into a large city. I felt a weird sensation, and wings popped out of my back. Where did these things come from? Ah, oh, I needed to go back home and help the god. Sadly, it was too late. All I could do was watch as my home blew up. Why was this happening? I tried flying with my wings, but it was no use. I crash landed to the ground. I guess I could only fly a little bit with these things for now. Suddenly, it started to get really cold. I turned, and an ice dragon flew in. Oh, no. Hey, you're a fire god. Zotharis will be pleased when I take you out. Zotharis? Was he referring to the large dragon I saw? The dragon tried to attack me. Get away from me. I tried to hit him with my firebolt ability, but I missed him and hit one of the houses. Oh no. The building started to burn and I can see villagers starting to yell at me. Oh no, I need to get away from here. So I ran out of the city. Where do you think you're going? The ice dragon chased after me and shot an ice blast at me. I dodged his attacks and managed to lose him in the forest. Phew, that was a close one. I really need to figure out my powers. On day three, I was roaming in the world. I came across a frozen over village. I entered it and began to look for any answers as to why this village was freezing. A villager approached me and started to scream, talking about my wings. What's wrong? A god hasn't been seen here in a long time. You must leave now. The villager told me that they didn't want any of the gods around, especially after the dragon started to take over. I just want to help you. Just, just give me a chance. It was no use. They kicked me out of the village. As I was walking out, a group of pillagers came to raid it. They started to attack me, and I fought them off. I was afraid to use my abilities because of the damage I just caused, but I had no choice. I was able to light them on fire and take them all down. Once they were defeated, I noticed that they dropped food. I realized that I was starving and quickly ate some. When I ate it, I acquired another 500 Hearts, and I felt so much weaker. Why do I feel weaker? Ugh. Sir, one of the gods is alive. Impossible. On day four, I found myself inside of a strange place. You are in the realm of the gods. I turned around and saw the god was there. I was so glad to see him again, but I thought you had been defeated. I was, Fozo, but I am not gone. The name's Ogun. I was disheartened with Ogun's news, but I asked him what was going on. He told me that you must stop the dragons and restore balance to the world. But how, Ogun? I don't know what to do. He told me that I needed to make the people believe in the fire god again. I don't know if that's possible. The people hate us. Ogun told me not to worry because they would come around eventually. He then came up to me and gave me something. Suddenly, I felt stronger and more in tune with my fire abilities. Learn to control your powers and keep getting stronger. I know you'll be able to save this world until we meet again, Bozo. Wait, uh, don't leave yet. I can't do this alone. Ugh, I woke up in a house inside of a village. What happened? I brought you back to the village. I saw a villager and he told me that he saw me defend the village from the pillagers. He wanted to show me his appreciation. That's a nice change of pace. I thanked the villager and headed out into the iced over village. I felt the urge to see what Ogun had given me. Whoa! It started to melt all the ice and snow around me. I went around the village, freeing all of it from the ice and snow before a group of villagers gathered around me. Thank you for what you have done, but get out! 
Get out? The villager who brought me in came over and defended me. He expressed that I was trying my best and we should be more appreciative. Reluctantly, the villagers decided to let me stay in one of the houses. Nice. I went to the house and began to search it. I found a set of stone tools inside. It felt good that I was making strides with some of the villagers. On day six, I ventured around the village and tried to get some more information about the dragon and gods. The villagers told me to leave them alone and to move away from me. You know what? Fine. I will. I left and went to find answers myself. As I made my way through the hills, I heard a scream and went to see what was going on. I ran up and found a little monster being attacked by dragons. Ah, somebody help me! Hey, leave them alone! I confronted the dragons and noticed that they weren't as big as the ice dragon. Maybe I could take these guys down. I used a fireball on the dragons and was able to stun it. Good. The power boost that Ogun gave me was working as well. The dragons attacked me and took away some of my hearts. I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but I needed to save this monster and use more fireballs on them. Finally, I was able to defeat them. Uh, thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. Name's Vulcan, by the way. Vulcan recognized that I was a fire god and said he didn't know any of them were left. I began to ask Vulcan where he came from, and he told me about a large volcano that some of the gods used to call a home. I thanked him for the information and told him he can go back to my base where no dragons would harm him. On day seven, I arrived at the massive volcano that Vulcan must have come from. I entered it and found myself in a strange looking room filled with chests. I began to look through the chests. I found more food as well as a journal of some kind. It was from another fire god. I began to read it. The fire god stated that they held the balance of the world for the villagers. As time went on, more fire gods died to the dragons and people began to feel as though the fire gods had abandoned them since dragons started to destroy their homes and claim their land. The fire god stated that before he passed, he left behind his sword in case another fire god may need it one day. Fire sword? I walked upstairs and saw on a pedestal a fiery looking sword. This must be it. My celebration though was cut short as I heard rumblings and strange creatures started to attack me. I began to fight back against them using my fire abilities and my newly acquired sword. It was still a good fight, but it was a lot easier. And just like that, I was able to defeat them. Great. Great. Now I think it's time to head home. I made my way down the mountain and suddenly a dragon flew up on me. I finally found you, little fire god. Memories of my home being destroyed flooded my mind and I immediately recognized this monster. So, you're Zothorus. You destroyed my home and defeated Ogun. Why? Because this world does not need fire gods like you. He told me that once he destroyed me, dragons will be the strongest creatures and rule the world world. Yeah, like I'm gonna let that happen. I shot Zothorus with my firebolt, but it didn't even scratch him. Zothorus knocked me back, and I lost five hearts. This guy is so strong. I won't let you take over this world. I used my new sword on Zothorus, but it seemed to not bother him at all. It was useless, and he blasted me to the ground. I only had five hearts left. I needed to escape. I dodged his next blast and ran away from Zothorus. Run all you want. I will find you again. On days 9 to 10, I arrived back at the village. I wanted to rest, but I noticed the villagers were harassing Vulcan. What are you, huh? Some kind of uh, stupid lava creeper thing, you stupid lava? Hey, leave him alone. He needs a place to stay too, you know. The villagers told me that I was lucky that they were even letting me stay here. If he's gonna stay, you better start doing some stuff for us around here, you know. Jeez, these guys really do hate me. I decided it was best to help them out. I started by expanding their farm so everyone would have more than enough food. Once that was complete, I worked on a house next to mine for Vulcan to stay in. He was super appreciative of me for sticking up for him. Thanks, Fozo. There's not been a lot of joy in the world since the dragons took over. I really need to work on a way to bring these guys down. It was getting late though, so I turned in for the night. Altar, come here. What is your bidding? I want you to hunt down this fire god and destroy him as you wish. On days 11 to 12, I woke up from my nap and explored the village. I asked the villager who took me in for more information on the dragons. The villager told me that the dragons were too strong to fight against and it always backfired. If they try to fight against them, the dragons would burn down villages and destroy crops. To prevent attacks, we have been giving the dragons gifts of food and riches we collect. I asked the villager if he knew anything about the gods and he told me that all of them were gone. There must be something that the 
gods left behind before they left. Rumors are the old gods used to live in temples. I only really know of one of them, though. He gave me a map of the temple's location, and I thank the villager for his help. On days 13 to 14, I was following the map toward the location of the temple when I heard a roar. What was that? I saw something fly over my head and then heard, Little Fire God. I spotted another large dragon I'd never seen before. Zotharis wants you gone from this world. Oh no. He started to attack me with a very powerful breath. I launched my fire bolts at him and then rushed him with my sword, but he hit me away quickly. I realized I was down only a few hearts and had to escape. I spotted a small cave entrance and rushed towards it with the dragon following right behind me. But thankfully, he was too large to fit inside. You can't hide forever. <laughs> Man, I was gonna need some serious upgrades if I wanted to stop these dragons. I searched the cave for iron and found enough to make a set of iron tools. I then used the remaining iron to craft a set of pants. This should keep me more protected. After I finished, I continued following the map. I made it to the ancient temple. I can tell that the gods used to be here. As I reached the center, Ogun appeared before me. I told you we would meet again, Fozo. Ogun! I asked Ogun what this place was and why he was meeting me here. Ogun told me that remnants of the old fire gods were scattered all across the world. He told me that if I was able to find them, I would increase my strength and stand a better chance against Zothorus. You've already found one with the sword that you're carrying. I pulled out my sword and told Ogun that it barely damaged him. That's because you're not strong enough yet, Fozo. Find the rest of the remnants. They will make you stronger. Ogun then disappeared. Wait, no! Oh, man. I just need to find the remnants and I'll get stronger. You got this. Fozo. On days 17 to 18, I began a journey back towards my new home when I spotted the ice dragon. Where was he heading? I saw the village I had crash landed in and knew it must be headed there. As I arrived, he was already attacking it. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Zotharis will reward me quickly for taking you out! He turned his attention to me and we started to fight. He was not as powerful as the dragon I just fought, but he still packed a punch. I had better control of my abilities though, and I was able to connect a few hits on him. They seemed far more effective because of his icy skin. I then heard him yell out in pain. Ah, how are you so much stronger? He tried to fly out, but I couldn't let him escape. I launched another fireball at him and took him down for good. I felt stronger and gained another five hearts. Nice. I also felt my wings were more powerful and I realized that I could fly through the air now. This is amazing. The villagers, to my surprise, then began to praise me for defending them. They were really starting to come around. You know, this felt nice. I flew off towards my home. On days 19 to 20, I returned to the village and talked with Vulcan about defeating the ice dragon. Wow, Fozo, I can't believe you actually beat the ice dragon. That's right, Vulcan. Hope is still alive in this world. Soon, people will no longer fear the dragons. Once I find the rest of the fire god remnants, people will be able to live in peace, just like this village. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid of any silly dragon with you around. It felt good to do the duties of the fire god. I just need to make sure more people believe in me. Sir, I've come to report that the ice dragon has been defeated. And who did this, Alton? It was the fire god, sir. That is not possible. One of the scouts has found where he's been hiding. Would you like me to take care of this? No, I will handle this pest myself. On days 21 to 23, I woke up to the sounds of explosions and screaming. What's going on? I rushed outside. I spotted Zothorus in the sky, calling out for me. Where are you, puny fire god? Oh, I'm right here. I flew into the sky and met him. You're a monster for what you've done. You killed one of my dragons. You must die. He started to attack me. Zothorus hit me to the ground. Ugh! And I destroyed more of the village from my fall. I need to draw him away. Now, I flew into the air and started to lead him away from my home. Get back here! He began to chase after me, and I tried to fly faster to outrun him, but he was able to catch me. He hit me with another attack, and I felt so weak. I started to fall out of the air and headed straight toward the ground. 
Ow, my head. Where was I? I looked around and found myself inside of a cage. I looked outside of the cage and Zothorus was standing there in front of me. How dare you defeat one of my brethren? You guys gave me no choice. You guys are killing all the gods. What for? We can do whatever we want. You will pay for this, Bozo. I asked him why he hated my people so much. What did we ever do to you? Zothorus told me that people never appreciate appreciated the power of dragons. He said that because of the gods, dragons were looked down upon, and he didn't like that. Then why am I still here, huh? Why not just destroy me and get it all over with? He said that would be too easy, and he wanted to destroy me in front of everyone. Then everyone will know the power of dragons. We will be the strongest creatures in the world. Ha ha ha! Zothorus walked off. How am I going to get out of here? Suddenly, my cage was open and I was free? Ogan appeared before me and led me towards the exit. You need to find the remnants if you want to end this madness. But how do I find them, Ogan? I don't even know where to look. You're a fire god, Fozo. You'll know where they are. I trusted in Ogan's words and flew out of Zothorus's lair. On days 27 to 29, I was flying and I felt an urge to head in a different location. What was this? I continued to fly and I came across a strange looking temple. Something was urging me to go inside. Ogan was right. I felt naturally drawn to the locations. I saw a large statue in the center with something on top of it. I made my way closer and noticed it was a piece of armor. I picked it up and it was the fire god helmet whoa as i equipped it i felt myself growing even stronger this is one of the ancient fire god equipment i wonder how many more of these are out there in the world i left the temple and began to fly through the world toward my base i heard more roars and i quickly landed i noticed that a lot of dragons were flying around zothurus must have alerted them that i was missing i need to stay hidden i traveled on foot to remain unseen i rushed towards the village and found that it was still in ruins. Oh no, I hope everyone's okay. I looked around the village to find any survivors, but didn't see anyone. Come on, someone answer me. Vulcan and the rest of the villagers came out. Oh man, I'm so glad to see that you guys are safe. No thanks to you, stupid. Get out of our village. You're not welcome here. All the villagers started to yell at me, telling me to leave. What do you mean to leave? I'm trying to help you. Vulcan walked up to me and told me it was time to go. The villagers told us we can stay as long as the dragons didn't bother them. And I guess we proved that it didn't make a difference today. As we were walking, I couldn't believe that I let those villagers down, especially after making so much progress. Cheer up, Bozo. Hell's not lost, right? You're right, Vulcan. I just need to stop those dragons. We journeyed to the top of a mountain and found a nice area within it. Vulcan suggested that I build a shrine since I'm a god. That way, all the villagers can see it and be proud of our gods again. You know what? You're right. I need something to be a beacon of hope for everyone. Everyone. I collected materials and got to work building. It was a good start, and I knew that I would eventually finish it. I gave the leftover material to Vulcan and told them to work on the village. I knew they would come around eventually. I just needed to show them I still cared. On days 33 to 35, I was flying across a jungle to see if I could sense another fire god temple anywhere. I knew that one had to be- ah! Ah! Something hit me. Oh, what was that? I told you, you couldn't hide forever, you- it was Alton, and he was back to fight again. He rushed at me, and we engaged in combat. His claws seemed to deal less damage with my new god armor. Thank goodness. I used my fire sword against him, and can tell that I was able to wield it more effectively now. How? You're a weak god. We kept fighting, but I was still outmatched by him. I had no choice but to try to make a break for it. I dodged one of his attacks and hit him with a firebolt that stunned him for a second. It bought me enough time to fly away. Something is different about him. Has he acquired more god armor? I must warn Zotharis. I made it out of the jungle and felt so exhausted and defeated. Ogan, please, I need your guidance. Ozo, what's wrong? I told Ogan that I was a failure. I couldn't save the villagers and I can't even defeat the lesser dragons. Not only have I failed the villagers, but I've failed the entire world. I'm no fire god. Everything happens for a reason. He told me that I must stay strong and continue to grow my strength in order to defeat them. Listen. 
I know you can save the world. I believe in you. But to make others believe, it has to be you that believes in yourself first. But how? How do I do that? I need answers, Ogun. I turned around and noticed that he was gone. He was right. I have to believe in myself first. I must have the courage to continue despite the adversity I'm faced with. Suddenly, I can sense something close by. I followed my heart and flew off, hoping it was another remnant. On days 39 to 41, I was flying through a desert when I spotted a large structure. I entered the temple. I felt drawn towards the center, and I knew that there had to be a remnant of the old fire gods here. I then saw a chest plate. This must be another piece of the armor. I rushed towards it, but before I can get there, a large golem landed in front of me and told me to prove my worth. Only a true fire god may possess this armor. I stated who I was and the mission that I must complete. I need to save this world from the dragons. The golem looked me in the eyes and told me that I was pure of the heart before fading away. I rushed and grabbed the armor. Once I equipped it, I felt so powerful. I gained another five hearts and I was able to shoot fire from my hands at will. Whoa, this is sweet. I'm getting stronger by the day. I just gotta keep going. Sir, I believe the Fire God is trying to obtain all the Old God's armor. That armor will never be able to save him! He will be defeated! I promise you that! I made my way back to base and passed by the village. Wait a minute, has it been rebuilt? It has. I returned to the mountain and asked Vulcan if he had something to do with it. That's right, Fozo. I took all the material and went through the village, just like you said. Wow, thanks, man. You're the best. I continued making progress on building the Fire God Shrine, and it was starting to come along nicely. I stepped back and looked at it with Vulcan. I asked him if he thought the other Fire Gods would be proud of what we're doing. Vulcan told me that they would because he was. Suddenly, a villager climbed up to where we were standing. This was the villager who had taken me in. He was very scared and panicking. I told him to calm down and explain what was going on. The villager apologized for the way they were treated and needed my help. Another dragon has come to the village. Please help. I immediately flew off and headed towards it. I'm not gonna let them destroy our home again. On days 45 to 47, I rushed down to the village and saw it was under attack from a large green dragon. Hey, pick on someone your own strength. I shot a firebolt at him and got his attention. Pesky fire god, you will pay for that. I dodged his attacks and used my new ability on him. It was clear that I was really hurting him with it. The dragon backed off and I charged at him with my sword. I was able to deal a fatal blow and I took him down. The village was safe again. I looked around as all the villagers came out of their homes. I started to leave the village knowing they didn't want me here. But as I turned to leave, they stopped me. No, we're sorry. We want you to stay with us. We realized that we were wrong. The villagers apologized and told us that they wanted us to protect them. Wow, thanks guys. I accepted their offer and made them an oath that I would do everything I could to protect them. Vulcan and I walked throughout the village, and the villagers greeted us and thanked me. Isn't this nice? Everybody appreciates you. Yeah, you're right, Vulcan. I'm really glad that I was able to save them. I thought these people would never forgive me, especially after Zothris attacked them. People change, Fozo. You just have to show them that they can. Yeah, and once I've defeated Zothris and the dragons, hopefully this world will change for the better. As we continued walking, a villager not from here ran up to us. The villager told us that the dragons had become more aggressive towards all of the villages. That's just not right. They can't do this. I won't let the dragons have their way. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and it was nighttime. Oh no, this can't be right. It was just day a second ago. I flew up in the sky and saw a dragon towering over a nearby town. This must be his doing. On days 51 to 53, I motioned for the villagers to enter their homes and then confronted him. Leave this town right now. Fire God, what are you doing here? I can tell that this dragon was nervous and I began to attack him. The dragon tried to fight back, but he seemed scared. What are you afraid of me or something? No, I just... I continued to attack him and as he was getting weak, he flew off. Ah, oh, come on. I launched a fireball at him, but it missed. The villagers then came out 
and started to cheer for me. Yeah, yeah, he, he's like back at stuff. It's good. It seemed like everyone was starting to come around to my presence. I helped the villagers rebuild before heading home. On days 54 to 56, as I made my way back to base, I decided to make some more progress on my fire statue. It was almost finished. I was so proud of my work. Great work, Fozo! The statue was big enough for people to see now. The villagers started to gather and look at the shrine. I was confused as to what was going on. They told me that they saw the shrine and were drawn to it. They felt safe around it. I told them that this shrine would be a beacon of hope to let the world know that the fire god is here to protect the inside. The villagers felt inspired from this and one of them told me that they would spread my name to give other villages hope like them. I told him that I appreciated this and offered to build them houses to stay at my village. Yes, soon, Fozo, your end will come. On days 57 to 59, I flew out of the village to locate more of the armor pieces. I began to search all over the world until I felt something. Well, this must be it. I saw a large temple in the distance and flew towards it. Something felt different about this place. What was going on here? As I made my way inside, a group of lesser dragons started to swarm and attack me. I dispersed them with the flames I shot out of my hands and took a bunch of them down. Down. They were weak, but persistent. I took out my sword, though, and continued to fight against them. I was able to take the last one down for good. Whew, that was close. Now, let's get this remnant. Wait, what? I saw the pedestal in the center, and it was empty. Where did it go? Someone must have taken it before I arrived. The dragons. They must be on to my plans. Oh, no. As I was flying back to base, I noticed a knight was waving me down, and the knight Knight told me that the moon dragon had attacked his kingdom. Oh no. I told him not to worry and quickly flew off. It was about time I settled score with that dragon. When I got closer to the castle, I can see the smoke. I rush inside only to find that the dragons had been defeated. Where was the moon dragon? So, you're the fire god that people have been talking about. I turned around and saw a king who introduced himself as King Himothy and explained that he and the other knights were able to defeat the lesser dragon. Dragons, but he said that the moon dragon would always return. He is capturing more and more of my knights. I'm afraid we won't last much longer. No worries, your highness. I'll bring your knights back home in no time. On day 63 to 65, I found myself at a camp that was filled with knights in cages. There was no sign of the moon dragon. So I took the time to free the knights and tell them to head back toward their kingdom. Thank you, Fire God. You truly are an inspiration. As I was freeing the final knights, I heard something land behind me. I turned to see the moon dragon was there. Come to face me finally, huh? The dragon didn't say anything, but charged at me and hit me with a powerful attack. It is you who won't make it out of this fight. We continued to fight, and the battle took a lot of energy out of us. Eventually, I was able to take him down with my fire abilities. I returned to the kingdom. The king was very grateful for my actions and gave me some golden apples. Oh, thanks. I also believe one of the dragons took something of yours. He told me that the moon dragon had mentioned during his attack that the fire god wasn't going to last much longer. Oh, really? We'll see about that. On days 66 to 68, I was returning to my base when I spotted Alton perched on a mountain. Looking for something? He dropped a pair of fire god pants right in front of me. That's where they went. Hey, those are mine. Give them to me. He flew off and I followed after him. Alton finally stopped and landed on the ground. I know you have something that belongs to me, Alton. You're going to have to go through me if you want it. Fine, but you asked for it. Alton charged at me. I dodged his charge and shot him with a fireball. I knew it dealt damage because I could tell he was furious. Alton used his solar breath on me, but it did little to no damage. Give me the remnant and you can leave. You dare look down on me. Alton tried to knock me back, but I flew up to the sky. Using my sword, I flew down down and slashed him, delivering the final blow. I collected the god pants and gained five more hearts. Only one more remnant left. I flew off and continued on my way back to base. On days 69 to 71, I arrived and I started to talk with Vulcan. I told him about all the dragons I defeated. One step closer to defeating 
Thoris. And you're close to completing your armor, too. You've always supported me, Vulcan. Thank you for always keeping me strong. You give me and everyone else here hope. Now get a move on it if you want to take him down. Thanks, Vulcan. I appreciate that. I flew off to find the final remnant. As I flew around the world, I felt a pull. I kept following it, but realized that I was going in circles. What was going on? Suddenly, I heard a familiar voice. You know where to find me. It was Ogan. Where do I find him? Oh, uh, I think I know where he wants me to go. Elton has been slain. Impossible. The last of my core dragons. Pathetic. I know what I must do. I made it to the location of the final remnant, the floating fire temple where it all started home. I stood there for a moment to look at what was left. What was once a peaceful place has now become this, all because of jealousy. I was frustrated at first, but I collected myself and made my way inside the temple. I made it to where my home was and found Ogan there waiting for me. Welcome home, Fozo. Why am I here, Ogan? I don't see the final remnant around. You no longer need me now. The remnant has always been inside. Me. Inside of me? And of course I need you. You can't can't leave me now. How will I know what I'm supposed to do? When the time comes, you'll know how to obtain it. Goodbye, Fozo, and good luck. As Ogan disappeared, I couldn't help but feel like I lost a father. He had always guided me through everything, and now he was gone. I exited the temple. Rest peacefully, Ogan. I won't let you down. Where is the fire god? Leave this village alone! Ah, the fire god's friend! You're coming with me! Uh-oh. I arrived back at the village, but it looked like it had been attacked. What happened? Zotharus attacked us again! Man, we just rebuilt! This is ridiculous! He told me it wasn't even the worst part. He had taken Volgan with him. I asked the villager if he knew where he would take him. The villager told me he called out for you to meet him where he could finally display your demise to the other dragons. I think I have an idea of where he might have taken him. I told the villagers to stay safe and flew off. On days 78 to 80, I arrived at a large arena and flew inside. I saw lesser dragons gathering around the outside of it. Clearly, Zothorus wanted to display our fight to everyone. In the center, Zothorus was waiting for me. Where is Vulcan? You better not hurt him. Zothorus had Vulcan brought out by two of the lesser dragons. He and no more of the other villagers will be harmed. Once you are gone. Don't worry about me, Fozo. You can't give up. I looked at my lava friend and prepared to fight. I had a sudden change of heart, though. Okay, you have a deal. No, wait. Zothras blasted me with the most powerful attack he had ever used. Ah! Finally, the fire god is defeated at last. <laughs> Fozo, he's gone. The world is doomed. Oh, young fire god. Ogan, is that you? What is this place? This is the afterlife. I, I can't believe it. I failed not only myself, but the entire world. I really thought that I could do it too. It isn't too late, Fozo. You've grown to be the strongest fire god yet, and the world is counting on you. Channel all of your inner power, and with it, return to the overworld. You can save everyone. Wait, Ogan! No! I can still save save everyone? But how? Okay, Fozo, breathe. I have to try. Fozo! I thought you were gone! What? I'm back! I did it! I still have time to save the world! Come on, Vulcan! Let's get back to base and finish this once and for all! The fire god is no more! We have one! Go and conquer the world! <laughs> On days 86 to 90, we returned back to base, and the villagers were in awe of my completed set of armor. This seemed like the best time to complete my fire statue. I got to work completing it, with Vulcan's help, of course. As we completed the statue, all the villagers gathered and looked at it. They told me that they believed fully in the fire god. You have restored our faith. Thank you for everything that you have done. Suddenly, there was word that one of the kingdoms was under attack from the lesser dragons. I flew off. When I arrived, I saw that it was under attack. The dragons were shocked and stunned in fear by the sight of me. You can't be back. You were destroyed. 
Well, go tell him that I'm back. The dragons flew off in a hurry. I turned and saw the king was standing there. Rumors of your death had spread across the land. Don't worry, your highness. I'm not going anywhere. But listen, everyone needs to prepare for battle, okay? This is gonna turn into an all-out war. He agreed, and I flew off to warn the other villages. On days 91 and 94, I flew across the world, stopping at villages to tell them what was going on. I landed at one and began to spread the word that we were all going to fight back against the dragons. The villagers were inspired by my words and took my arms to join in the uprising. I flew off. I told the other villagers to travel and spread the word as well. Everyone in the world was beginning to join us. And just like that, people seemed ready for the final battle. I headed home to my village. We're here for you, Fozo. We'll be right by your side. Thanks, Vulcan. You've been a great friend. Now let's finish this. Sir, the fire god, he's, he's alive! Impossible! Prepare for a fight! On days 95 to 99, we can hear roars in the distance as the dragons began to travel towards our pace. This is it, everyone. Now is when we restore the balance to the world. No more villagers will have to live in fear. The villagers began to cheer. This ends now. Attack! The dragons arrived at the village and began to fight with me and the others. The dragons were not expecting this much resistance. I used all my abilities and was taking dragons down with ease. I looked over and saw Vulcan was being attacked by a group of them. Little help over here, buddy! I went over to help him and started taking the dragons down. He thanked me for the help. After some time, most of the dragons realized that they were outmatched by me and started to fly off. Yes! Come back, you cowards! It was just Zothras left in the village, and he too fled. Hey, where do you think you're going? I flew off after him. It was day 100, and I was chasing Zothras through the air. Come back here! It does not need to be this way! You still have time to change who you are! I will never stop until I rid the world of you! Then you leave me no choice. I used my fireball and hit him out of the air, causing him to crash land. I guess this is the end for you, Zothras. He charged at me, but I was far more powerful than I'd ever been. You stupid god! It is not me who chose to destroy this world. You have caused nothing but pain and suffering for so many. I use my abilities on him, greatly weakening him. I will give you one last chance to stop the fighting. Never! Fine, Zothras. I took out my fire sword and struck him down. The world was finally able to live at peace.